What's up, Derek? It's a lovely Thursday, and boy, do we have another letter to read to our viewers. Sent this guy an invoice for some dirt he got from us. Hard one to read. It says, thank you for all you have done for us and what we have purchased. You always work with us and deliver in a timely fashion. Your professional services do not go unnoticed. Once more, thank you. So that's good news. Dirt delivery. Uh, these people buy quite a bit of stuff from us, so it's nice when people send a check and then send a nice little thank you letter. So we actually do get quite a few of those. So, but I think we've had three people call and complain this morning. So. Kind of gloomy weather. We had somebody complain about our dump truck driver, and then one of the mowers blew some grass into an AC unit. So, a couple little complaints, but we'll follow that up with a good letter and call it a day. So, uh, today I got uh, Hunter and Chris. They're working at the new retaining wall job. So, we should probably go make sure that's all squared and going good. And then uh, Holly, Sean, Tech, and Caden are working on a landscaping job over in Wazika. Uh, not sure if we'll get over there yet today, but uh, we should probably go see how that's going. So that's what we're going to do today, Derek. So get in the truck. See the sign they put up there? Boil. You got to boil your water if you live in Fenimore. <laughs> Warning. Boil water. Boil water. So apparently they had a water main break or something and they fixed it and somehow it might have some poop water might have back back ran I don't know. I don't I don't really know what's going on, but that's I don't know. You don't I'm, live in Fenton. I'm not I don't even live in Fenton. You don't have to worry about it. I'm on a well. But I mean I guess our office could have poopy water up there in my house i mean Derek took a shower and some shit water this morning i so did thought i could smell something a little different this morning a little uh a little sourness to him this morning so let's run out to the shop first and uh check on a couple things there uh, we'll call hunter see how things are going down there yeah hello yeah how's it going Oh, pretty good. Um, has Bob been there yet? He is just pulling in right now. Oh, okay. I knew that. Um, all the blocks there then? Yep. You guys sent the old chip with him? Yep. Okay. 10, 4, and then they'll probably want a load of clean stone tomorrow then maybe, or no? Yeah. I don't want to, I really don't want to leave a load in their driveway over the weekend though, so we'll kind of have to plan that. Right, uh, but no, we'll, yeah, just thinking ahead. So, did he bring GeoGrid? No, he did not, but I, I'm probably gonna swing down there. So, I mean, we don't, you don't need it, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you'll for sure need it tomorrow, but yeah, okay, all right, well, sounds good, thanks. Yep, Bye. Hey. All right, sounds like they're doing good. They got a block delivery this morning. Bob's there dumping off clean stone. And they've already got the bases set for the walls. So really all they got to do is start laying block, which the base course is always the most time consuming. And then they do have staircase they got to put in probably eight or ten stairs so those are a little time consuming but the rest of that job is pretty easy um, especially compared to the last job we were at Muscaday uh, this one a lot better access and they're not working on I mean they're kind of on a hillside but they're not working on a mountainside so should be a lot easier and I don't think the mosquitoes are that bad over there so Everybody should be in a wonderful mood today. Happy. Well, we gotta wait for Bob to get back. Cause I gotta load him with screen dirt. 
because Bob can't run the skid loader. And then we'll go to Wazika. We'll get the geo grid and we'll meet with them guys. And then we'll go to Bagley, take the geo grid to Hunter, meet with them guys, make sure everybody's doing good. So yeah. Yep, I'm just leaving the job to rock top here. I'll be back. Get the dirt from out of Brad. Yep, I'll meet you out there. Okay, be about a quarter after 11 before I get there. Yep, thanks. Okay, you bet, bye. bye. Well, we made her out here to the dirt location. Hopefully Bob's out here. Yeah, Bob don't like running skid loaders. Got the pile all covered. Sure do. We don't want that screen stuff getting wet. Hi, Bob. this weekend? And then, uh, oh, too, when you park there, try not to park flush with my truck. Go back further. Go back further. Just that way when those guys come in, they got that little extra room to back their trailers in. Thanks. Yeah. See ya. Womp womp. All right, we got Bob loaded up with some nice clean dirt. Usually try to throw the tarp over it because sometimes going down the road, that stuff's so fluffy it'll fly off and blow on the cars and shit so just trying to be courteous it's getting a little hot out here there we're gonna have to get back in the office toasty. or something toasty i don't know why i wore a black shirt all right well we better get out of here looks like bob's gonna take a shit behind the truck see you later bob here and see if they got anything probably not not in my budget anyways I want to buy uh, Justin a car so Justin the sales guy has a 04 Chevy 1500 four-door and I'm pretty sure that thing gets like 10 miles to the gallon so he's putting on a shitload of miles and I've calculated all the fuel. I'm pretty sure if I get Justin a car, that'll save me. There it is oh, right there. Yeah, there right it is there. right there. That's what we need. It's got plates on it. Somebody's Damn already it. owned it. <laughs> but if I can get Justin something that'll get 20 to 30 miles a gallon, it's looking like that'll save me about four to 500 bucks a month. So, you know, to some people that might sound kind of dumb if you're in a big business, four to 500 a month, but you know, in my eyes, uh, there's really no need for him to be driving a truck around. You know, there's been times where he's had to pick up supplies and materials and stuff like that, but really nothing that he couldn't throw in the trunk of his car. So I don't really see much of a selection here, but I'm kind of looking for like a, like a 14 to 18 Chevy Impala, white. I would prefer an LTZ, nicer one, but I don't know. That's my plan, get Justin the car. Beep, beep. What are you gonna do with the truck then? I'll just move it over and let the mowing crew use it probably, because that truck Aiden drives, that one's probably about ready to retire or go to the Derby. It's a nice truck and it runs and drives excellent, but it's actually pretty clean too. But it's just not a good commuter for somebody like Justin. And I'm telling you, he puts on the miles. Oh, what is he leaking? Corn? Yeah. He's leaking it. He's not going to have anything left. 
It's all over. Oh my god, it's getting worse. Yeah, there's state patrol right back there. Oh, that's good. You're leaking stuff all over. Is it on purpose? He ain't even got a shovel with him. I said, I don't have a shovel either. Shovel for what? Well, there's a pile there now. The problem is the state patrol is right back there. If he comes down here, he's gonna be going to his old. Oh, Jesus. What is that? I guess we'll be nice and kick it off the road for him. Yeah, I don't know, man. You did your good deed. Yeah, it's fucking sketchy. What the hell? <laughs> Good thing we waved him down or he'd have been he'd have been out of beans by the time he got back. <laughs> well, we heard the boss's truck coming, we better get back to work, guys. It's weird seeing the mini loader not having hunter in it. Yeah. This job they are doing a rock bed and a split rail fence. Kind of just a decorative dollar up kind of deal. A warning these guys don't have much experience with the split rail fence so but I trained him I trained him yeah, it looks good to me you ever made a fence before Caden not one of these ones <laughs> barbed wire would have been 20 times easier barbed wire is not very decorative easier to put in got a pencil there homie yeah it's been pretty hard keeping them leveled as they're all fucking... Oh, I know, but they're marked that thick. Two and three eighths. So, you could probably cut two of them. Just like that, and then make the fingers. Got a little saw here, don't you? You see me? Yeah. Sawzall or something. Okay, no. You ain't got a sawzall? Not one in the trailer. I didn't figure on having to cut them. Get the chisel in, Tech. Yeah. Hmm. You've been taking over Hunter's job? No. Staying in the mini loader all day? No. Nothing to it. I carved wood on the side. Yeah. Please. Almost had it. to Hillside Greenhouse and got a pallet of those flat rocks. You see how a bunch of limestones? Mm -hmm. They're all like this, 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 this. Pallet of them. And then we just... Set them on the holes. Those would hold the river rock in. It's a little steeper than that side, but... That would be fine. What you got there, Dick? Fast 2K. That's 2K. Uh -huh. Sounds like a video game I was playing last night. You play video games? Yeah. Don't you? What do you do, actually? Live life? Like a normal boy? You just go home and go to bed. <laughs> What's up? You play video like, games? No. Oh. I said, really? He doesn't look like a video game? <laughs> what you'd call a nerd, probably. What happens when you open that? It just expands? Yeah, I didn't open one in time yesterday. And it exploded all over. It was all over my shirt and face and hair. And... Oh, really? Yeah, I ripped out a lot of hair last night getting that shit out. Oh, no. <laughs> Could shave your head. I don't want to. Me and you, together. <laughs> I'll shave my head if you do. I've done it before. Uh, see if you could run us a water or river rock to a job. Oh, in the middle of a bump fuck. Best bet would be probably go right down the prairie and get it from Dillman. Uh, the inch and a half or two inch dark. Turn left like you're going to Wazika on your way back. And then give me a call and I'll give you exact directions when you turn left there. And that's 
yeah, J E I D Y. And that's right off of uh, Highway 60. And it's it's before okay, pay. Over there, maybe. Just be sure that when you just get on the Hill Road, go this way a little. Um, pick a low low gear and stay in it because it gets super steep. I mean, you'll be fine, but it's it's definitely uh, get like so 12 yards. You activated it and then didn't open it in time, so it exploded. Well, it's a chick for 30 seconds, and I shook it for maybe 10, and then it exploded. And it's, and it's all, so now we shake it for about three. <laughs> Did you see it explode? Yeah. Yeah, it no, exploded everywhere. Really was it awesome? No. No offense, Just Tech, but it sounds that. awesome. Yeah, it was I'm sure it was like a very awful thing for Thank it to happen you, to you, but it sounds cool. It's all over that post. Good thing we don't need it. it smells like something you'd want to swallow. <laughs> it actually burns when it's on your skin. Oh, okay. Expand. So you did this to every single one of these? Mm-hmm. Now luckily we had some extra bags and stuff in the trailer. Look at that. I mean, there's something where we still put fabric down, so shit we can go through. It's bubbling. Reminds me of the movie Ghostbusters. You ever seen that movie, Ted? Yeah. The old, the old one? With the slime mm -hmm. oozing up out of the sewers. Mm-hmm. At the top. All right, keep going out of the way. Split rail fence. Looks nice. Yeah, it looks really nice. It looks fancy. So now you guys just gotta figure out these corner deals or whatever. Well, the fence is coming down more. Just one. There should be more of it. Angle, not 90. Yeah, you might have to shave some of this off. You're gonna have to shave the post. Otherwise, it ain't gonna twist enough. That other end should be fine though, right? Or no, we no that shave, one's we gonna have to be shaved a lot. Are these all you have left? Yeah, Is there yeah. two down there for There's that side? Two down there. Oh, okay. You guys got a wheelbarrow here? Yeah. I think I'd send Caden on a mission to pick up all those rocks that are visible. Is that was it in there before? No, yeah, there's a bunch of clean stone behind the wall. Two inch clean stone. So you guys could go down and do that end while this one dries. Take that saw down there and you and Sean take that screw gun. Then you'll need a few screws. And you can do that one while this one dries. Yeah, I wish you had a little saw or something. Something like that. And then this will just kind of set in there and you can just screw it in there. Yeah. The other one can just set on top of it. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to have something in the ground. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could just leave two stakes here. Two concrete stakes, just beat them down and screw them. Yeah, that way that kind of holds that fence together too. Mm -hmm. Do they lay on top of each other? Yeah. And screw them and together. Screw them together, yep, okay. and then screw them to that pin. How was your rack, Holly? Hmm? How's your rack? What well, rack? <laughs> vape or AQ that I gave you? What? The vape I gave you at the oh. sod job. Is it any good? Yeah. I still have it. Yeah. I think there's just like <clears throat> half juice left. <laughs> Those okay? Yeah. Oh, good. You usually got like a few of them on me, so <laughs> it lasts me a while. What about you, Caden? What do you do? Just work? You don't do anything for fun? Breaks his collarbone for fun. Well, that's, only, that's only when your bearings blow out on your dirt bike. <laughs> it's okay. I got rid of it. And I got something two times faster. So the dirt bike broke while you were driving it? You yeah. didn't like go off a big jump or anything? No. Whoa. If you want to know why, I'll say that. Did you, <laughs> did you fly off or what? Mm, I tried to save it, but pretty much went over the handlebars. 50 down the road. Dang. All right. So you landed on the road? That's why I got all the road rash in my arms. That's gnarly. You're 16? Yeah. Cool. You've already been in a worse accident than I've been in my entire life. So good for you. <laughs> It'll never happen again, right? I guess we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think, Derek? Gasoline? Split rail fence. Yeah. 
946 feet to do on the next job. Of split rail fence? Yeah, it's quad rail. I want four. Quad rail? <laughs> He's just making up words now, Tech. Tech, you could put that pin down in there, probably. Now, can you get a screw in there? You should be able to. Right? Yeah. You want one of them shorter ones so it don't stick through the backside? Yeah, yeah. It looks really good. Yeah, it looks good. They were just... It's just too hot? They just had a bad day yesterday, which cool. everybody has bad days, but you gotta help each other through it. There's some big rocks. Set them up there with a mini loader. Yeah, we did this one. Yeah, we did it with the land hero. Put those blocks up there with the land hero. Whatever happened to that thing? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's pretty much a piece of shit. <laughs> Hunter wrecked it. Hunter wrecked it? Yeah, it's all bent to fuck now. I'd go sniff that gasoline, but we can't have that on YouTube. There's a video of me sniffing gasoline. They Is cut it out. Loose Timu as a sponsor for doing that? Oh no, they want us more as a sponsor now. Oh. Yeah. They're and big fans got, of sniffing gas. Now we got a lady company trying to get us to sell Infl inflatable Halloween decorations. Oh, after the parade one? I don't know. Well, it's like a 20 foot tall Halloween. Oh. <laughs> it's like inflated. this huge arch. <laughs> They're like, can you put this in your next video? That would really uh, fit in with the video. Yeah. You know? <laughs> what do you want? Here, we're just doing this fence. Oh, by the way. <laughs> Look at this giant 30-foot inflatable Halloween. Pretty nice yard, though. If she's watching, you got a pretty nice yard here. Isn't it? Did you go to chainsaw school, Sean? Master. Yep. They got somewhere to dump shit up here? No. As far as that, I don't know. See those rocks? You could probably just dump down in the ditch somewhere. Cut that off so it'll kind of sit flat on that board, the bottom side of it. Oh, okay. And I think you got her. And then just kind of take those rough measurements to the other side. So it's kind of symmetrical. Yeah, I don't think I'd go much lower if we were going to build another one. Only 10 miles off, not bad. No idea. How the hell do that one? I drew two lines. <laughs> the second line was worse. The second line was worse. Yeah. Where are they coming from? There's honeybees. You dug their nest up. Oh. You gotta truck that down the hill there, Junior. I don't know how full you'd be filling that there. Just throw it back in those woods or what? I would, yeah. I think they'd probably be fine with that. Maybe kind of spread it out a little bit. Don't dump it all in one pile. Sit in there with it. Hell no. <laughs> it's already gonna be dragging on me, so good job in Muscat when we had to turn that up. Now we gotta paint it. No, we ain't painting it. <laughs> it's rusted. Well looks like they use that trail, so don't dump it on that trail. Well we're gonna grab that geo grid and take it down to Hunter and them guys, so. So once you guys get these posts done, then you're going to cut that again, put the edges in? Yeah. Okay. Just remember that's a long straight stretch, so you have to string line them and mm -hmm. make sure they stay, you know, when you're standing back looking at them, they don't go like this. Well, I would say if you guys got this done and got the edges in and everything cleaned up, you could probably call it a day and then tomorrow come here and put fabric and rocking. All right. Okay, sounds good. Need some geo grid. Some geo grid. Found it. They're a happy bunch of coconuts. Yeah. All right. Well, we're just leaving there. Those guys are uh, doing good. Uh, they seem a little bit grumpy though. I had a talk with them this morning about working as a team and uh, working smarter, not harder, thinking more. So, a little grumpiness there, but uh, you know, it's 90 degrees out, so probably a little warm. There's not really much shade there, so like I said, everything looks really good there. Uh, they were pretty grumpy about the fence yesterday, but I think it looks great. So, uh, 
customer's gonna be happy. Grab the geo grid, we're gonna run that down. We're gonna check on Hunter and Chris and see how that uh, new retaining wall job is going. So hopefully these guys are in a better mood over here. Let's go see. Speed limit's 15 through here. I was doing 19 through here the other day and a guy drove by me going like this. Well, Jesus, you're doing 21 now. I was like, about... man, fucking take me to jail. This doesn't feel like a legitimate speed limited road. No, it's probably not. It's... I mean, we already got another job up here. So. You got another job up here to do? Yeah. After this one? Yep. There's some nice houses up here, and we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so they probably don't have a lot of options for landscapers. So we are. Sounds like we got a couple more projects up here already, so it's good news. So we don't want to be pissing anybody off speeding, so I'm going 20. Speed limit's 15. I mean, my truck's loud, and it seems like I'm going faster than I am. I don't know. Pretty nice place up here. I, I haven't found a place to look over the bluff yet to see. Well, I see some pallets of block and some caps, so that's good news. Better be the right color or I'll kill somebody. Yep, this is the right color. Walnut. Walnut. Versalon. We've been really doing a lot of Versalon blocks, man. Yeah, they're just a, they're just a good all-around block. What do we know today? Special. No, how are they doing? Yeah, they're working hard. Oh, are they? <laughs> Sounds well, they good. They keep pretty busy. No, oh, that's good. I'll, uh, they'll probably work half a day tomorrow or something. But I told them just to make sure they don't leave your driveway full of rock over the weekend. Oh. So. I'm not too worried about it either okay. way. Okay. Well. I'm just giving you a head. Uh, Thanks. So, yeah, wait till you see the drop off on the back of this house. It's pretty bad. I thought you said there wasn't a cliff. Well, there, there is a cliff, but we're not working on the cliff. Oh. So, let's go check it out. So, we're putting a wall up here. All the way wrapping around towards the garage. And then we're putting a wall down here. And then it's actually going to wrap up one block and kind of encase this whole, uh, this whole triangle area here. Bring the geogrid? Yep. It's hot as shit out. How's the wall not? Well, it ain't bad here. What are you talking about? This is... Yeah, this is nice. No, we just had the sun on us. Oh, really? you did? Oh. Where's it extra warm at? Oh, where those guys are working yeah. is hotter. They have, yeah, they they have the zero anything. Yeah, there's... It's like a fucking tanning bed there. We're thankful for this tree right here. <laughs> yes, I thank you, tree. I love you so much. I love you. You want me to kiss it? The tree? No, uh -uh, dude. The tree would fucking die tomorrow. Oh, that hurts. My feelings? Coming together, it looks like you guys know what you're doing, like you just did this or something. <laughs> yeah, a little routine. What do you think? I'm gonna get up to that. I'm probably just gonna have to shave this off. Yeah. We'll make it work once we get those all in. We'll. I don't know. I'd almost like to order a. Make it work. Huh? Me and Chris will make it work. Yeah. Yeah, and I won't do nothing. So. <laughs> but I think once we get that in there, then maybe we, you know, would board that off, and then I could just order like a yard of concrete and shoot it in there. You know, that way we don't have to ever worry about it. Or we could probably just fill it with clean stone as well, I guess. Yeah, because well, we figured it would kind of just be like this much and be. Yeah, yeah. It would be sure. Right. It ain't gonna be much. So then, okay. I mean, really, clean stone's probably better. That way, if it ever does, it can flow through there, you know? Oh, yep. It's kind of a drain that Turn way. It's sitting back there. And then... Yeah. So, yeah, then they're going to build a wall back here. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> my God. That hill. Yeah, you ain't even walking up. You ain't even going to walk up that. So... And this is all fill that we've taken out. Sorry, they've taken out. <laughs> we were a team. I haven't done shit. We were a team. <laughs> but this was all eroded here. So we're trying to put all the fill. They're trying to put all the fill here so that this is less, uh, less of an issue here. This looks like a nightmare. It is, but it's really not that bad. Well, they got their split rail fence all done. 
good. You guys missed out on that. Yeah, that's, that's darn. Guess what, Dave? Guess what is not here, D-Rock? We haven't even put a drop bug spray on it. Yeah. Not even a drop. Right. That's pretty that sounds nice. nice. Oh my nice god. Stuff. This is a nice trade. <laughs> <laughs> They dug up a bee's nest over there. Tech, tell you what he did with that expansion phone? What did he do? He activated it, and then he didn't open it in time, and it exploded all over him. Today? He, he had expansion foam in his hair all over his shirt. Today? All over him. Did you buy you a new toy? Yep. Tech was in a bad mood. No. <laughs> Any animals out here? Um, did you not see that snake that I ran over this morning? Chris, show him. Is there? Oh, it's looks like this big around. Hey, Chris had to stop. Had to stop me. and get a picture of it. I ran it over this morning. On purpose? No. no. <laughs> but I've so coiled up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. If that thing comes up, it was the hills, big. I told uh. Chris I'm leaving. You guys will see it up the road when yeah, you leave. Yeah, it's on the road still. I I run it over every time I drive. <laughs> Make, Make sure, yeah. yeah. Tell your friends. <laughs> I don't want to make that fucking like a Tell your friends who's coming. You don't like snakes, honey? Nope. What about spiders? I don't care about spiders. Don't care about about spiders. Mm -hmm. Snakes. Even if they're this big. Don't like them. You never know. They don't have legs, you got. They don't cook like. Yeah. They just somehow just. Yeah. It's messed up, dude. Oh well, yeah, this is way better. You guys can carry the block right here. That's pretty good. Get the clean stone in good. Everything's nice and close. Yep. Should be a cakewalk compared to the last one. Sure. When I went, we went to the eat today at the bar, I had to wear a sweatshirt in there. Squeezing? <laughs> well, I was caked in sweat. Well, I like that, Phil. That helped out a lot over there. Yeah. And is that all of it, or did you, dig, uh, did you dig that other wall out, or no? That wall over there should be almost ready for, okay. ready to go up. So there really won't be much more fill on there. No, not too much. But that still helped out quite a bit. Might have to dig a little bit out behind that. Yeah. Deeper behind there, but yeah, then that tooth up there. It looks like this much broke off. Uh, yeah, you just go around it, right, with the... Yeah. Hmm. I went around it, and then... Weird. And I thought, and I'm like, what the hell? It wasn't my weld that broke, it was the no, steel that broke. it was the steel that broke, yeah, now oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I'll go grab it. Well, I wonder if that's a different kind of steel that we should That's what me and Chris using. were talking about. I go, what do you think it's... It might be a different kind of... I don't know. I got it out of the scrapyard, so... <laughs> Either way, it, it ain't gonna matter. You can still use it. Yeah. Clean break. That's like an inch thick. We should laser engrave that and give it away to the subscri subscribers. It'll cost us $40 to <laughs> ship it. <laughs> you think that would have helped if it would have been heat treated, maybe? No. I mean, technically, it was heat treated. Yeah. And I, it got fucking hot welding it. I just, it's weird it wouldn't bend. I mean, it should have bent. And should, right. I can't imagine how that sheared. I'm sure someone in the comments will let us know. <laughs> it had a crack in it already. <laughs> Could have it gotten hot from him digging a bunch first? No, no not really. I mean, no. I was sticking that thing as far as that thing could go. Well, it don't matter now. It's all good. We got the stump out. We have the lead welder. Yeah, we'll have tack fix it. He gets done with that split rail fence. Gets all the expansion foam out of his hair. He said, I pulled enough hair out already. I'm going to look like you, D-Rock. <laughs> Did you want to add a block or two to say you built this wall as well, or? Probably should. Yeah. I was gonna put one on the stairs so I could say I built the stairs. Thinking next week I could give you guys Caden. I know you probably want tech, but I can't. I can't. I can't give up. At least you have him down here to lug blocks around and do a bunch of that stuff. So they'll finish that job up tomorrow and then. Monday, I would assume you guys can have him for next week, so that'd be the plan. We got enough pins for this round semi-load, yeah. Oh, these blocks aren't all the same size either, again. Hmm. Cool. When we started over there, that one was, what, quarter inch shorter? Not quarter. What was it? Only like an eighth. Well, still shorter. 
when the level went side across. So you just try to use the same, at least you know about it, you'll have to kind of keep an eye on where you yeah. use them, I guess. But. Yeah. We found out on that second row we were about to put this this piece in, and that's when we saw it, it was lower. Mm -hmm. So we just tossed that block aside. Well, just keep an eye on it as you're going up. Looks good so far. Well, Derek, should we go get some ice cream or what? I like ice cream. Yeah. Oh. Are we going to bring in some or no? No. No? Yeah. So. When they're done with the wall. They going to have one of the free cones from A&W? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Give them a card for a free cone. <laughs> when will you need more glue? Uh, yep. Bob's got about a yard of dirt stuck in his box. Can't get it out. He already knew the answer. He just called me. I don't know why. But... So what's your goal for tomorrow then? Not die of heat exhaustion. I don't know. This wall would be cool to be done. Yeah. Huh? This wall. Yeah, right. Um, I think you could have the steps up and probably, probably you'd be close. You bring Hunter a fan. What you guys should do tomorrow is you should skip coming to the shop too, almost. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. Where's he park his truck then? Or... That guy? Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're both driving down here? Oh, my truck? Chris fucking was whipping beat down. Come up there. The fuck would you drive? Past yeah, fucking well, pick, him, them back pick, him, pick him up in the morning. I don't want two trucks running down here. Yeah, that can work. I hate to be a whiny baby, but we no. kind of. We kind of lost our ass on that last one. It wasn't your guys' fault, but right. if we could save a little bit of money on this one. Okay, all well, sounds good. If you guys need anything else, let me know. I'll leave that geo grid in the back of your truck. Hunter said he wants a head cam today because it's so cool out. I mean, yeah, we should probably get a haircut. That would help. You can just leave it. You should be able to just leave it in the truck and use it again tomorrow. 20 degrees cooler if we get a haircut. <clears throat> We're gonna start doing company haircuts. I'll give them out. Company haircuts by the bald guy. I only do one style, but I do it well. Well, there's that snake hunter was talking about. I mean, that's a pretty decent sized snake for, for our area. around here. It's freaking area. huge, yeah. But it looked like a boa constrictor on that picture yeah. he showed us. Yeah. Yeah. Just take it down there and throw it in the seat of his truck. <laughs> We gotta end this video, Caleb. Oh, we gotta end the video. Here comes the end, boys. Well, let's give some stuff away. So, as most of you know, I'm obsessed with my business and uh, I've kind of been leading more towards the YouTube side of things. So I started making some of this stuff here, guys. Um, so I've been making this stuff at home. We got some, uh, stone coasters that we made we got a little flashlight and a uh nice little mug here so a little sticker a little gift basket let's give that shit away derek all right just uh comment down below youtube journey and uh derek will randomly select a winner and uh we'll be sending you guys this stuff so Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys in the next video. You will always work with... I can't read this, Derek. It's all curse. It's like old-time cursive. I'll figure it out. Find us on YouTube. Nice shirt. Did you scan it? Yeah. Takes you to a weird OnlyFans page, but it's yeah. nice. Well, we're trying to make a buck, Derek. Trying to make a little winter money. Only fans is where the money's at. This episode brought to you by Crisco. Just Caleb's fat. That's all I drink is Crisco. Do you melt it or do you eat it solid? Oh, I don't know. Ask the people in the comments. <laughs> Probably just drink it out of the fucking tub. Liquid form. I feel like I'm gonna pinch my fingers, so just make sure you got the camera on ready for that instance.
We're gonna end this video, Caleb. Hang on, my computer screen is not even on. <laughs> I start over. Make it look like you're doing something. Can we give this away too, or do you want to keep that? Trump 2024. I could probably start making those and selling them. We're going to give away a gift basket, Derek. A nice little gift basket stuff here. Okay. Not as good as mom with her string and her fucking gloves, but it's, it's decent stuff. Okay.